Carries like that. There's Ica. Where's Ica? There's Ica. This is back. Where's Ica? There's Ica. Oh, she's seen me. The dreaded spot again has come back. I'm just check in if you can actually see it on camera. Yeah, yeah you can. Yeah. I mean, if I didn't say anything, maybe you wouldn't have noticed, but uh, it's there and it's back and it's like ruining my life, so. Anyway, we're back again with uh, Fear, comma, and Loathing in Las Vegas. Fear and Loathing in Las Vegas. Last time I did one of their songs was the Parasite anime. Let me see, let me hear, let me hear. Let me hear sounds better. Let me hear, I think it's let me hear. I remember listening to it and what put me off giving it an Animazing song, I think I gave it a Pikachu was because of the um, Vocaloid, is that what it's called? Or Autotune? I mean, I still don't know the difference between those two, so I'm just gonna say it was one of them, and that way maybe you won't get annoyed if I get it wrong. But um, I think it was Vocaloids. It kind of just reminds me of that kind of like fake pop music that's going about at the moment. Like, I just like to hear the singer's voice behind it. I don't want to hear robotic nonsense behind it. That was my only complaint about that. Music was great. I mean, the drummer was quality. I remember that, that he got a lot of camera time and he had some really good feels going, some hi-hat work. And then in the comments, you guys recommended Crossover and you said that it's kind of completely different and it's heavier and the guy screams. So check, check, check without further ado. All right, here we go, boys and girls. Crossover, fear and loathing in Las Vegas. Away we go. Okay. Mm hmm. Oh! Oh! It's like an Eve Rear! <laughs> oh! First of all, hang on. I would not guess this is the same band at all! This is like completely different music, style, everything! This is the same band, isn't it? It's definitely the same band. Have they got like a new member in or something? I mean, which song was recorded first? Maybe they're just like on the same album and they just want to go mental on some songs. I don't know, but sounding good actually. Let's crack on this. Yeah. Oh, see what I mean? The drummer's quality. Cool. There we go. Kind of EDM. Loving it. It almost sounds like a Kingdom Hearts boss battle or something, doesn't it? Does it? Oh! What are they kind of playing in? It's kind of like this spite cage. Metal tubing. Nice! Ha. Yeah! I like those little stops. Shit! Oh! Award for the slowest headbanging! Yeah! Shit in hell! It's like Devaloof! Sounds like Devaloof! Nightmare's gonna come back tonight. Woo! It's almost like a jam, isn't it? Nice! This drummer is winning me over. I mean, not that it was a bad song, I mean... The line between a Pikachu and an Amazing. He's playing piano and singing! Screaming at the same time! 
Fair play, mate. Yeah! Ooh, what did I make of that? From the start, I was genuinely shocked that that was the same bands that I listened to before. Different, completely, good. Really good. My problem is, at the start, it was just, it was kind of all over the place a little bit. It was, it was so many riffs going on and changes and stuff. And then the ending of the song was quality. F first of all, let me state, good song, great song. The second half of the song was better, I thought, than the first half of the song. I don't kind of know what structure they were going for. There wasn't a set kind of like verse one, chorus one, verse two, chorus two. I mean, maybe there was and I just wasn't paying attention. Probably that, actually. I couldn't really get into the song. It's like watching The Flash where this is like the timeline and then he goes back in time, creates like Flashpoint or something and that then alters the future but then that alters the past and then he can't change the past which means he can't change the future and all that. Where am I <laughs> like in this song? And that just might be the worst reference of all time so you're welcome. But um, let's get the review system up shall we? Here we go. Brrr. What are we going to do with this bad boy? Um, this is hard because, I mean, from what I was saying in like just previously, it sounds like I don't like this song. However, my trouble is giving it a Pikachu or an Animazing. I think, for the sheer fact that I don't know if it's an Animazing or not, I'm going to give it a Pikachu. Which, as you know, is still great. It's still a great song, and I'll probably listen to this again. I'll give it a few more listens to. I don't know. I guess I just wasn't expecting that at all because. I've heard their previous stuff, which is like all that Vocaloid stuff, and um, this was, this is, this is better. This is better than that song, and that song was a Pikachu. Oh, could it be an Animazing? Nah, Animazing's got to be perfect. This is like a high level Pikachu. Yeah, I think that's fair. Pikachu again. The drummer is awesome. Fair play to the drummer, and his drum kit sounds awesome. Those little like splashes, the bells, the toms, everything just sounds so good on his kit. And uh, head banging wise, it's like you can boil the kettle, go down for the heavy beat come back up and your tea's done it's like perfect really I was trying to watch the screen but I was kind of like head banging as well but it was so slow by the time my head came back up again I missed like five seconds so um, yeah good song Pika tune Pika tune in next time to see some more Japanese music like the video subscribe as always if you haven't already there will be a lot more new bands on the channel I'm hoping to kind of like delve more into Japanese bands that I haven't listened to so uh, expect some more visual K expect some more J-Rock and uh, there might be a few surprises along the way and uh, sayonara